Let me hear that. Here comes CIT. <laughs> another effort in the home stretch. And here comes UCC. I think we're going to get third, Carl. UCC from the depths of hell are pouring through. Oh, Michelle finished it. Here comes CIT. Here comes UCC on the outside as well. And it's the Lily of UCC. Pouring on the outside. It's unbelievable. Michelle Finn. She's out on her feet. God, it's unbelievable. That is unbelievable, Carl. Cahal Dennehy joins us from Dublin. Cahal, how are you? I'm good, Dan. How are you? I'm spectacular. Set the scene of... So this is a 4 by 400 meter race. And so how big event was this? Uh, so this was in the Irish University's track and field championships last Saturday uh, afternoon in Century Stadium. And there must have been no more than 100 people in the stadium, but it went absolutely (laughs) crazy for it. It was a very quiet day, not a big atmosphere. And then suddenly the people who were there went absolutely crazy. And myself and my friend, Ronan Duggan, who were doing commentary for the the live stream online, the YouTube stream, um, we basically, as you can tell, lost the run of ourselves completely, lost our minds, lost our voices, (laughs) lost our composure, lost our professionalism, lost everything. Um, (laughs) Because the athlete, like, as you could see, it was one, it was one in four minutes, which isn't that fast for a four-by-four four relay. But um, the athlete who actually won the race came from about 80 yards back on the final leg. And again, it wasn't a brilliant leg from the athletes out front, obviously, but this is a, an international class athlete who was running for the court team. And, I mean, to see her come, we had, as you could tell, we got it completely wrong. We had written her off. We'd even written off the second and third athletes. But the beauty of sport, the unpredictability of sport came through in the end. All right, the call is dramatic. I mean, you're selling that like it's the Olympics, which I appreciate that you're saying there's 100 people there. It's a women's you know, university games, and you guys are selling it like the Olympics. So I do appreciate that. I am curious about the depths, from the depths of hell, have you ever used that in a sporting event before? Uh, I have not, and I guess it shows that I'm... Uh... Not a full-time broadcaster because I think a few people would consider that a questionable statement to come out with in the middle of a race. But uh, no, I'm by trade. I guess I'm a writer. I'm a, a journalist, freelance track and field journalist. I write for a number of publications, newspapers, and stuff. And occasionally we get drafted in to do these kind of commentary gigs, these live streams. And in general, it's just people actually ask me, "Did you have that written down? Did you see it somewhere?" And, to be honest, I have no idea where I even pulled that turn of phrase from. It made no sense. I think maybe it was something to do with the red singlet charging from nowhere. Will, um, will you use it again? That made me think of hell. But, will, yeah, it made no sense. And uh, But yeah, it seemed to work out. People seemed to love it. Will you use from the depths of hell again? No, I think, uh, <laughs> you know, these things are best retired after one use. Wow. Just, wow. Just, just leave it there. <laughs> Breaking news. Cahal Dennehy confirms that he will never use the expression from the depths of hell. That's sort of the women's Irish games version of Al Michaels saying, do you believe in miracles, I think. I think so, yeah. We have our own ones in Ireland and this side of the pond in terms of uh, famous sporting phrases. There was one in the Irish, Ireland were in the World Cup in 1990. And uh, a guy approached in the quarterfinals or the, the se- second round to take a penalty. And the commentator said, a nation holds its breath. And that was the indelible one that's down in Irish sporting history. And no doubt there's tons of them in America as well. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think we'll leave it there. I think we'll, from the depths of hell, it worked out once. I, I think you can get too much of a good thing. So I think we'll leave it there. How surprised are you with the reaction to this? I mean, it's been, it's been absolutely crazy. Um, to see it going from even on national Irish newspapers and then we had a friend in New Zealand who said he saw it on the biggest news station there is in New Zealand last night on TV, heard our voice, voices screeching out of the TV <laughs> like 12-year-old prepubescent children or something. <laughs> but yeah, it's been wild. And then to see all the big networks in America pick it up now, it's just been absolutely wild. And I think it's been for the sport of track and field, which has had a really bad couple of years and as we all know, has had all these drug scandals and things, and we've seen the bad side of the sport. To be able to get something out this, like there, that portrays in the most pure way the essence of like fundamental, uh, noble competition, I think is great for the sport. And I couldn't be happier that it has taken off. And again, the commentators aren't the stars of the show. The athletes here, and especially Phil Healy, 
and all the other athletes who are working hard and doing so the right way and doing so without anybody really appreciating their efforts. They're the, they're the stars of the show. Before you retire from the depths of hell, could you just maybe do a liner for us to say, from the depths of hell, this is the Dan Patrick Show? Of course. Okay. Uh, will, I, will I shoot? All right. Uh, I'm going to count you down okay. in three, two, one. From the depths of hell, it's the Dan Patrick Show, signing off and powering through to victory. <laughs> is that a is that the fight then? Well done. Uh, you you could have had it a little higher pitched voice, like it was right at the end of the race there. Yeah, well, I, I didn't have four minutes to to work up to the <laughs> of the actual live commentary that oh. time, so I think I was safe. Uh, oh. I didn't sound too much like a girl that time. Hey, uh, it's great to have you. Thanks for having a sense of humor. And uh, if we ever get to Dublin, beers are on me. Thank you, Dan. If I ever get over there, beers are on me. Oh, all right. We'll take you. Have you been to the States? I have. Okay. I have. I've lived in New York for four months, and uh, I've, been, I've been all over, basically. West Coast, East Coast. All right. You get to New York. You get to New York, and uh, the beers will be on us. Excellent. Take care, Dan. Thanks for having me. That's Cahal Dennehy, legendary Irish sportscaster. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.